Okay, we're going to talk now about marketing automation and how we do it in the Agency Advantage platform. So if you were subscribed with Agency Advantage, you will notice a couple of things. We're tracking a lot of the leads that you're tracking here. You're tracking any active automation and we're tracking any audits you generate. So what's an active automation? So the way we envision SEO Resellers Agency Advantage platform is that we, it, we want to allow you to run multiple automated campaigns that basically nurture and close your leads without you spending so much time and figuring out what to tell them. And the way we do it with, the, with this iteration of the Agency Advantage platform is through email automation or email sequences. And like Leads Generator, the marketing automation feature of the Agency Advantage is actually baked into a lot of the different tools that we have. So we're, we're going to check for a CRM, then I'm going to show you how to do automate it, uh, how to do it in Lead Generator, and then I'm going to show you also different templates that you can use with it. So in order for you to figure out what are the different sequences that you can run or different automations you can run for your leads, you just need to go to Agency Tools and then to Marketing Automation. So once you're under Marketing Automation, it's going to show you all the active automations that you have running at this point. It's going to show you all the contacts on sequence, number of email stop, completed, open rate, click-through rate, and failure rate. Open rate is, of course, how many people have opened your emails. Click-through rate is how many actually clicked on the, email, on the links within that email. And failure rate is how many was marked spam or bounced or failed to be sent. The interesting thing here in this particular portion is that if you want to figure out what you can send, you can just click Sequences. Let me open the new tab here. So within Sequences, what we did is that we basically are giving you pre-built campaigns that you can run automatically or instantly to your leads. So in this instance, we have web design, social media, local SEO, PPC management, SEO education, and reputation management. So for every particular email sequence, we give you a list of the different emails that we can send out for that particular lead. Here's the day where it's going to be sent, and it's going to be counted from the day that you activate this automation to this particular lead. If you want to figure out what the email contains, click preview. There you go. The macros here will be replaced by the name that you have in the CRM. So for now, this is not editable because what we want you to do is you, we want you to rely on the years of experience that we have in nurturing and closing leads. And these emails have been written specifically with that in mind. If you have any suggestions on what other emails we can run, then you just tell us and then we can write that for you. But how does it actually work? So these are the email sequences. And how it works is that you can activate a sequence for leads in a lot of different ways. First off, since we're already here in the sequence, you can just click activate a sequence for a lead, select that particular lead, then click activate sequence. And the lead generator, once you generated the lead already, like for example, the one that we did a while ago, When you identify a specific lead to be lacking a specific digital marketing service, you see this particular business or this business doesn't have SEO, then you can click Run Automation, select the sequence appropriate for it, which is SEO Education, activate sequence, and then it's going to start sending that sequence to that particular business. When you're in the CRM and you have a list of customers that you want to target, you just simply find that particular business that you want to track. For example, this one. You click this button. Same window shows up, and then now you can select the sequence to activate for this business. 
you can easily identify a specific bis a specific email a specific contact or customer rather sorry if it's running any automation by the icon here so when it's blue that means that there's no automation running when it's red there's an automation running when you click the red button it you can now deactivate that sequence The good thing here, though, aside from that, is if you really want to figure out what's happening to this specific business and uh, you've run the email sequence for them, you just go in and enter that particular contact like I did. I click the contact. You click email logs. So now you can see the different emails that was sent to this particular contact. So this one we see has failed. We activate this now. Let's see a specific business that's actually done. So from the email sequence dashboard, you can actually identify the different the different contacts that has a running email. So. Specifically, I want to target this particular person and I want to see all the emails I sent to this person. I click email logs. So I see all of these emails were sent to this person. When I click view, then I would see the emails that, I, that was actually sent to him. I click history, we can see all the different emails that were sent. And what did that particular person do? So this way, you're actually keeping track of what your particular lead is doing. So that's the email automation. So one of the bigger questions, though, is what about the when you send them, when you send them emails, what do they do with the email? So a couple of things happen when they, when you send them an email. The first is that when you send a person an automation within the SEO reseller agency advantage platform, we send it out as you via one of our, via our different email servers. So whenever someone gets your email, they will see your email instead of ours. At the same time, when someone replies to your email, because we in, because we put your email as a reply to, you will receive the email, not us. The email that we use for the emails that we send out, the, the actual email address that we use for the emails we send out, is based on the email that you have as login to SEO reseller. And that's it. The next video, I'm going to be talking about landing pages.